Now let's uh, get a little bit more on that 20 metre sinkhole which has opened up on a residential street in St Albans. I mean there are the latest pictures from the air, they are extraordinary. Uh, this sinkhole has, as you can imagine, forced the evacuation of, of some families in the area. It spreads as you can see across a driveway and a front garden of a property and it's 10 metres deep, as we say, 20 metres wide. Uh, also, one of the results of this sinkhole is that more than 50 properties are now without gas and electricity. Uh, the fire service have said they were already aware of a small hole which was due to be filled in, but then received a call to say it had opened up substantially overnight. And substantially is the word, isn't it? Um, so obviously a lot of questions for the owners of that property and for people generally in the area, I, I guess. But it's not the first time we've seen sinkholes just in the last year. There was one in Manchester City Centre in August and February early this year. There was one in uh, Hertfordshire, a garden another area of Hertfordshire near Watford um, and in the same month a house in Ripon in North Yorkshire too so uh, sinkholes are clearly a little bit of an issue we'll be discussing them a little bit later